John Woodland's got away very well when the green flag dropped and he takes up the running as they go into turn one and two. Second place at the moment is Ray Jones in the number 29 car with Lino Gaddy moving around the outside very quickly to go up into third spot and looking for second too as they come down to complete the first lap. John Woodland, the leader in the red car, the 28, has a break of about uh, oh, 20 metres or so from 29 of Jones. Then the 23 of Gatti, then the 13 of Gazelle and the 73 of Gazelle. of him to put a little bit of pressure on him and Gazelle is working overtime on the wheel of the Corvette to try and move through on the inside of Gaddy. Gaddy is holding down second place at the moment in the white car number 23 there's Gazelle moving up onto his tail gave him just a little bit of a tap to let him know that he was there no hard up though and Gazelle hanging on to third spot there's uh, Gaddy drifting up line a little bit he came back down very quickly in front of Gazelle slowing up very very uh, quickly there too as they close ranks on Woodlands good battle going on here now between these front three cars with Gazelle trying to get through on the inside of Gaddy Woodlands is the leader, Gaddy's right behind him and the Gazelle trying to push up on the inside oh Woodlands left a little bit of a gap there for uh, Gaddy oh Woodlands gone bang, Gazelle's gone into Gaddy and Woodlands was the man who got into trouble first up. Coming out of turn four. Woodlands in trouble right in front of Gaddy and Gazelle who were challenging. And we'll see what uh, damage may have been done there. Woodlands is out. Tire and rim. So Gazelle might get up in front with the needle nose Corvette. Yeah, yes, Lino Gaddy's still going. We'd like to see you here again next uh, Saturday night with the first appearance of the Grand Nationals for the 85-86 season. We know Gaddy's uh, body work is going to need some repair during the week. But the Grand Nationals will be back next Saturday night here at the Newcastle International Motodrome, a full support program. Start time 7.30. Like to see you here. Set. And going. Now Gazelle's going to go for broke on the outside and that was a pretty bold but one that might pay off for him. Oh, they're hooked up. Gazelle and Gatti are hooked up. You wouldn't believe it. And what a cruel blow for Gary Gazelle. No, they've um, yellow lighted it because I would imagine the steward has felt that Gazelle was unfairly handicapped there. Trying to pull another car along with him. I'd reckon that'd be one heck of a handicap. Gary Gazelle will come back to the pole. Bob Brewer will be in second spot because Lino Gatti is going to be sent to the infield by the Chief Steward. Not that uh, Lino knows that at the moment, although he does appear he's going up on the, the tow truck anyway, but he was going to be sent to the infield for causing the race to be halted. Still five to go.
Getting set. The restart. They've got it. And with five laps remaining in our Super Sedan final, sponsored by Tetrid Engineering, Gary Gazelle in the Corvette number 13 is the leader, but the New South Wales champ and undefeated tonight, Bob Brewer, is right behind in second place and he's anxious to keep his undefeated record intact. Gazelle's going to make him work hard for it though and Gazelle's still got the lead at the moment. Can Bob Brewer get hold of him now? Gazelle's, oh, he's gone already. Gazelle got untidy there and Bob Brewer's come through. Oh no, Gazelle came back at him very strongly. Very strongly indeed. And Bob Brewer on the inside now trying to get through on Gazelle. He's only got two and a half laps left to go. I wonder whether Bob Brewer can uh, hang on to this one. Gazelle's got too much power on him down the main straightaway at the moment. And Carrick's joining in in the, in the freight train up front. Here's Brewer trying to go around the outside of Gazelle, but Gazelle's still got him covered. Is Bob Brewer going to be beaten for the first time tonight? Gary Gazelle might be the man who can do it. Gazelle in the black Corvette number 13. I think he's got the measure of Bob Brewer at the moment. There's only a lap to go. Gazelle and Brewer. Can Gazelle hang on? There's three quarters of a lap left to go. Here's Bob Brewer making his mark now on the inside. Oh, Gazelle still won't give in. Gee, this has been a good drive by Gary Gazelle in the Corvette. Bob Brewer's having a throw at him now. He might get him on the line. Yes! Brewer got him. Carrick was second. Gazelle was third. Ray Jones was fourth. Darren Gazelle was fifth. Gordon Cox sixth. Wayne Randall seventh in the number 40. No time taken on the race. And the decision by the steward is as they cross the line. As they cross the line, Bob Brewer, the winner of the final. Although Gary Gazelle in the Corvette number 13 reckons he has. What do you reckon? Bob Brewer has been declared officially the winner of the race as they cross the line. Gary Gazelle will be third in actual fact. Robert Carey got up to pip him across the line. But a good drive by Gary Gazelle nonetheless.